What's up guys, I'm Anthony and welcome to Life with Anthony. Happy Wednesday to you guys. I hope that everyone is doing well out there. I'm sitting in my car today because today's video is actually about my car. After I paid my rent on Monday, I decided to sit in the car and kind of get an overall assessment of the space that I have in here and how much things can I put in here and basically trying to come to some kind of conclusion in my head is this car big enough for me to live out of and taking a look around I did this when I first bought this uh, car I sat in the back seat and was kind of like okay is this you know and I was thinking oh yeah I, I can do this I can do that but now that I had this car for over a year now and I kind of did the same thing I did a year ago and sat in the car and started thinking okay is this enough space you know for me to be able to live out of and the short answer to that is no it's not I I would not make it in this car because it's it's just not big enough just the the sleeping arrangement itself it, it, it would not be sufficient for me because Unlike my minivan where I had a full-size bed underneath storage, I had a dresser, a television, a clothing unit in the back, an outdoor kitchen in the back. I mean, just the bed itself, it was comfortable, you know? It was a full, short, just shy of a twin-size bed. I wouldn't even get that in here, you know. <laughs> and sleep, sleep is sleep has got to be at the top of my list for living out of, of choosing a vehicle to live out of because I can tell you now if you are not comfortable in your living quarters sleeping wise, you're going to have a terrible van life car life experience. And I like to think that the two and a half years of my van life back in 2016, 2018, well, let's say two years because I took a break and hung out with my nephew for a little bit. I like to think that going into this this time that I would be more wiser or, or think a little clearer about my decisions and not put myself in a position where... I know it's not going to work. You know what I mean? As much as I would love to make it work and keep this vehicle, this vehicle is not going to work. Now, I'm not going to get rid of this vehicle. I owe too much money on this vehicle. And any way you look at it, getting another vehicle financing or from a financial standpoint would just be just awful. I mean, <laughs> it's a tack on what I owe for this vehicle onto another vehicle. Oh, no, no, that's just not going to happen. So my plan is to get a second vehicle. Um, I was looking on Facebook Marketplace. I was looking at uh, cargo vans ideally would be the right choice for me but as I was because a cargo van is bigger than a minivan so that would be a advantage point going into it um, and they're 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 available you know there were uh, quite a selection on Facebook marketplace uh, at different price ranges and everything but when I was looking at it on Facebook marketplace today I also saw a couple of stand-up vehicles we apparently have a few dealerships around here local dealerships that advertise some of their vehicles on uh, Facebook marketplace and I saw two different dealerships that had stand-up uh, uh, vans on their uh, lot you know but them dealerships they they advertise shit and then when you call or go there they don't have it and they just lure you there to try to sell you something different but I would definitely call before I go there and here's one that I really was digging and the thing with this one is I actually can buy this one <laughs> 
I actually have the money to buy this one, but I kind of wheeled it in and was like, take your time, Anthony, take your time. There is no hurry, there's no rush, you know, just save a little bit more money. And you have to really keep in mind that when you buy any type of vehicle, whether it's a cargo van, a box truck like Don recently got, or a high top, there's money after you buy any type of vehicle. You need money afterwards to, to build it out. And, you know, I don't want to be in a situation where I, I can't build it out. So... I, I kind of dialed it back and was like, take a deep breath. You know, these vehicles and these dealerships are probably constantly getting these types of vehicles in and out. And they're definitely going to be some more available. But I am looking at um, at least a cargo van. Because I like Chrome setup. I like his setup. He has way too much stuff in there for my personal taste. However, I like the way his bed is situated. I like that it's space for other things. He has a sink, blah, blah, blah. But I also like 44 setup as well. He has his bed going the long way. And he still has space to put his, his fat bikes in there and this, that, and the other. So it would definitely be a, a step up from the minivan in terms of space. And even a greater step up if I can somehow, luckily, come across a stand-up vehicle. Now, a stand-up vehicle is not, not like something, again, that I am specifically pursuing. I would definitely be happy with a decent cargo van because it would be, you know, good spacing. So, that's what I'm thinking about, guys. I'm thinking about, you know, getting a cargo van and or a stand-up one. Oh, I tell you. Because, you know what... If I'm going to go into van life again, I want I want to do it properly. Not that I was doing it improperly, but I want to do it better. You know, I want to do it better than. And and when I say better, I mean in terms of the type of vehicle that I'm doing it in, because I absolutely think that I did van life pretty good. I did it pretty good. I had it down pat in Baltimore. I really did, but. I can be even better. There was a lot of room for improvement. So <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to, to getting into it again. Now, oh, one thing I actually want to, to mention to you guys that's so important is I want to have this vehicle paid off at the end of next year. I only had this vehicle a year, a little over a year now, but... I want to I want to try and get this vehicle paid off by the end of next year. So, I'm going to have two vehicles and it's it's not a bad idea yet because I still live in this apartment and I can still you know park both vehicles safely on the apartment park uh, parking lots, but once this time is over, you know, I want to be able to to sell this vehicle and just have the living vehicle but I still have some things to work out but that's that's the the short term uh, I actually would like to buy another vehicle I want to say somewhere around September of this year See, I ain't playing around. I'm trying to get stuff done. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not playing around with this idea. I have already made the decision that it's going to happen. I just have to work out the fine details, which is getting something else to live in, build out, do whatever. But it's real. It's going to happen. Trust me. It's going down, y'all. It's going down. It's going down. But yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, this vehicle is it's not, it's not going to work for me. Not going to work for me. And I'm not even going to put myself in a situation where I already know in advance that it's not going to work for me. So I will be looking at 
Facebook Marketplace faithfully and hopefully I will see something that catches my eye whether it's a cargo van and or a stand up vehicle I kind of like the idea of the cargo van though because it is not a necessity that I have to stand up because the cargo van I like the roof of a cargo van it's, it, it's very flat you can easily install a roof vent you can easily install solar panels on there at least two solar panels along with the roof vent you know and the one of the most important things for me is I would be able to insulate it so whether I'm in warmer weather or cooler weather at least there is that insulation factor that will hopefully help out the uh, climate situation but enough rambling on for today guys um, I just wanted to bring you up to date with my thoughts um, I'm excited really excited of what's to come for me and hope you guys are as well and good times are ahead good times are ahead and with that being said, I'd like to thank everybody for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And if you have any thoughts on, you know, I don't know what you can have thoughts on. <laughs> I don't even know what I was going. <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with that. And I don't even know where I was going with that. All right, that's it. I appreciate you guys. And that's. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have any thoughts on it or what. I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>